Hey stars, what is good? Thank you so so much for once again stopping back by. I really do hope that you're gonna enjoy this week's vlog so that you can keep coming back for more. I'm at home and so my neighbor has chickens just in case you guys hear background noises of chickens. That's how it's gonna be for quite some time because I'm at home, I've moved back home and it's not going good. <laughs> you know when you're just so used to like living alone when you have to come back home it's like it's a lot child it's a lot 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 but hopefully not even hopefully i won't be at home for long you know this is just for now um but we're still gonna catch up this is gonna be like a catch-up vlog spend two days with me at home i'm gonna be vlogging today and tomorrow so we're still gonna catch up on why i'm at home what is happening yeah and just like a lot of venting but i do have like a leave week like i'm not going to work for like the whole week yeah so i've decided to vlog might vlog the whole week might only vlog for two days and then rest and catch up on a lot of work um for the rest of the week we'll see how it goes but also right now i'm in the mood to bake so i will bake with you guys the way i'm saying bake as if like i'm baking baking you know those easy mix muffins like where you just add water eggs and the mixture that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing like, but it's still baking Akir. anyway let's bake guys <laughs> so today is a new day today is Wednesday yes today is Wednesday and I've just taken a shower and I'm about to get on with the day I'm working from home today I'm um, super super excited super super nice so I woke up took a shower and then I came back and made my bed obviously and then I chilled for a bit. I caught up on some YouTube. I was actually watching Kataza's vlog. I don't know how to pronounce her surname, but that's the vlog I was watching. Her content is so chilled. <laughs> like, if you wanna chill and relax, that's the girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert like her channel here so that you guys can see her surname. I love, absolutely love how she like edits i absolutely love the efforts like 
you're gonna see well I, I do recommend especially if you like a youtuber like a young aspiring youtuber and you just want to get creative in terms of how you take your shots in terms of how you edit in terms of how you angle and plan out your shooting that is the girl to definitely consider watching but obviously you need to be you need to be able and put in the time you need to be able to put in the time because like a lot of the things that she does you can see what he them they were planned they took time they took so much time but it's really really awesome to watch it's super super creative um but yeah it is the beginning of the year and i wanted to talk about my vision board so as from the last vlog i was busy creating my vision board and whatnot but that vision board was, but that vision board was on like it was on a paper I, I created like a chart and made my vision board there and then I had another one, but now corner that one was like words, it wasn't pictures. And then I had another one that was on my laptop. And then I had another one that was on my phone, but like on my notes. And like, and I was also watching, ooh, what's her name? Zoe. I was watching Zoe's vlog. And then she was also making her vision board. I think it's her previous vlog. And she was also making her vision board. And she mentioned how your vision board should be your wallpaper because then you you constantly are waking up to it you're constantly looking at it whereas if it's on your laptop you're not on your laptop as much as you are on your phone so i actually absolutely loved that and i adapted that so um i'm done creating my vision board and it's my wallpaper but i don't really entirely feel comfortable with shit with, with on this platform because it's pretty personal it's pretty very very close to my heart it's I, I don't think it's something i can just put out there for everyone you know to see but basically if you don't know what a vision board is it's just a collage of pictures of your goals what you want to achieve and basically just what you're going to be manifesting this year but also manifesting while doing the work some people just think having a vision board or manifesting is simply saying what you want it's not going to happen manifesting is not a miracle like you, you're not going to get it if you're not working towards to getting it but yeah just waking up every morning checking the time and the first thing i see are, are the things that are, i want to attain in 2022 it's really uplifting it's really just a game changer like even if you wake up on the wrong side of the bed the minute you see that vision board you get up and you get to work period so i really encourage that we all do our vision boards and make them our wallpapers it's really fun even to make so i know so i have an audition tomorrow i have it's the black brain audition if you are an artist you probably have seen these they were trending so durban is coming up first it's going to be at kcav well, one thing about me and auditioning at kcav it always feels like home you know that's where my passion was stimulated i think that's where it all started for me so i definitely always enjoy auditioning at that place um it really really just feels like home like it feels so welcoming i get so excited to go there you'd swear i'm not going to an actual audition um besides the fact that i'm currently doing a show corner so basically i rehearse there a lot so it really just feels like just another day even if it's an audition so i'm really looking forward to that i'm going to prepare for the audition with
morning stars what's good good morning it is the next day um i don't know when's the last time we spoke but today is saturday and i have a brow appointment i am going to refill my brows as you guys can see gosh i haven't done a refill in like a very long time but honestly speaking i love my brows when they're like this but I think two days ago, I posted a snap on Instagram and then my beautician saw it and then she's like, iri fili, iri fili, iri fili. I really wasn't even like wanting to do one or like, or like cautious. So like, oh, I need to do one. But I think she freaks out every time she says, um, I'm not in a proper condition anymore. So basically that's what happened. And then I'm like, okay, no, it's cool. You can book me in. No, in fact, I didn't say you can book me in. She booked me in herself and she's like, Saturday, 9 p.m., 9 a.m., and I was like, hey, okay, no, it's fine. Um, so basically, that's where I'm heading off to now. Honestly, don't have anything else planned for the day. I don't know if I want to go on like a mini solo date. We'll see about that. I will call Casey at home. I'm so mad. Like since yesterday, there's no electricity. I didn't even want to wear this hair. I wanted to like install a frontal or like wear my white hair. But I can't because there's no electricity. So installing and straightening and hair drying it's gonna be it's gonna take forever so i just wore this closure wig this is like my simple go-to wig like if i'm in a hurry hurry and i don't have time for hair this is like the go-to wig so that's where i'm heading off to now i think i'm a bit late but hopefully we will make it what else did i want to share with you guys yeah i will go gazy that's like my biggest irritation gosh of the day i'm looking very simple i'm just wearing um my slides ripped jeans a vest bodysuit and then this is the bag that i'm carrying yes <laughs> Oh, it's 
stunning. Yes. I'm never doing my brows again. <laughs> this one looks like like beauty brow. Yes. This is ombre. Mm. So we're covering up. That's beautiful. I'm so happy. I'm extremely happy. Was it painful? No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, two. Yeah. <laughs> no, the pain was two.